In the early 2000s, nuclear energy was Japan's undisputed champion in the energy arena. Then came the Fukushima disaster. For the next few years, nuclear energy contributed to less than 1% of energy fuel mix. To have such a drastic change, it was the effect of policy changes. So naturally, the more greener option came in and filled in the gap left by nuclear, right? Well, during nuclear's lowest energy contribution, coal, gas and oil became 86% of all energy sources in Japan. That was also when Japan had population drop, but let's not get into that in this video. While Japan has historically and currently heavily rely on oil, gas and coal, it is making significant strides to a more sustainable and diverse energy future. How sustainable and diverse, one may ask? Well, their goal is to reach a sustainable standard that includes around 56% fossil fuel. But wait, where do they get all their gas? Imported. Where do they get all their coal? Imported. Where do they get all their oil? Also imported. This heavy reliance on imports has posed challenges in terms of energy security for Japan. They put in lots of effort to navigate the complex geopolitical arena with care to avoid sanctions and keep trading relations positive. So much so that they even went to get approval from some random people to release the Fukushima contaminated water. Of course, not everyone is happy about that. Like, totally right? No country is so irresponsible to dump their nuclear waste into the ocean, right? It's totally unheard of and never done before. Oh, what's happening to nuclear energy in Japan right now? It's making a comeback. They declared that they want to go back to nuclear this year. But they have already been kind of quietly starting up their nuclear reactors a few years ago. To be fair, adding in another fuel type is a sound decision for fuel security and energy price stability, especially when oil or fuel are affected by import risk. Having coal, gas, nuclear, oil, solar, and wind is one of the most diverse fuel mix there is. Just don't be expecting them to have an accelerated energy transition. It's just not in the plans. You're watching the Funzi channel. Doot, doot.